Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, the four of you. It was really amazing. As you said, you're forced to listen to the human voice after this wonderful performance. And uh, I must say, I, I don't know what to say because I'm still full of this music and this joy that you have given us. So really, one big, huge round of applause for them. I would, I would really like nothing better than to just leave and soak in this music for the rest of the day. It was really, really beautiful. And um, as you mentioned, I'm, I'm really not that big a celebrity. There are huge celebrities in India. But I'm really happy to be here, very happy to be invited to be part of this, to be part of the Gandhi Peace March, to be part of the Holland India Festivals. And what I witnessed here today was, is simply marvelous because whenever I travel, all over the world, and I see people from different parts of the world performing art with Indian influences, I'm overwhelmed. It's, it's amazing because it really talks to us about inclusivity, you know, that the whole world is one. And music such as this really brings that out, that whatever the differences, and the differences can be limitless, but under the skin, deep down in our hearts, in our souls, we are one. And we need to realize that. And I think it's music like this that will take us closer to a, a world without conflict. So thank you. Thank you to the organizers. Thank you, Maheshwari, for this concept. Thank you for the execution of this. Uh, thank you very much again for, uh, to Holland India Festivals for inviting me. And I wish you all health, happiness, peace, and love. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, yeah, I stand here on behalf also of Leo Sprexel. Yeah, you know him, the director of uh, the artistic director of Corso and uh, Dance Festival. Uh, Corne Ran, who is beside of you, is working for Zuider Strand Theater, but responsible for the programming of uh, the Nieuwe Kerk, this beautiful uh, uh, building here. And of course, on behalf of uh, Maheshwari, who is an important partner for the music festival. Uh, uh, the Holland India festivals have not a long history, but at least a history for years. And I can say that the Embassy of India in the Netherlands in the last years really has been a, a very good and important partner uh, for, uh, of the festival. So once more, I thank you for being here and I'd like to give you the floor. Thank you. Thank you, Henk. Connie, Leo, and the outstanding artists. Please, on my behalf, give them once again a big hand. <laughs> Let me assure you, if they were performing in India, in Delhi, in Calcutta, in Mumbai, Bangalore, Chennai, or Hyderabad, they would have had an outstanding applause from the entire audience. So please, they are the best. And as music, I'm sure all of you heard and enjoyed it. And perhaps many of you who were new to the music did not understand it. It takes time. It is classical music, like any classical music. But let me just draw attention to the fact that none of them had any notations. Indian classical music functions on the artist knowing the raga, the tala, or the rhythm and then performing together, improvising together, and leading one, working with each other entirely. This requires years and years of training. This requires tremendous hard work. Each one of them is where they are today because of extraordinary efforts. They deserve a huge applause. Please give them an applause once more. Thank you. And let me say, as Milan pointed out, Music in India is seen as a means of communing with the divine. The artist transports himself, connects himself to Almighty, whatever name we call him. And at the same time, along with himself, he takes the whole audience to an entirely different sublime level. But similarly, as in each one of their backgrounds, Mexico, Suriname, India, Netherlands, Australia, Afghanistan, Netherlands, and Suriname, India, Netherlands, See how many different cultures, how many different influences they combine. They have both absorbed and studied Indian music, but they are also able to translate it to audiences which comprise people from different parts of the country. 
truly music can unite. The music can unite people, countries, nationalities in a manner nothing else in this world can. We owe it to each one of us to strengthen the hands of artists such as these. Equally, let me thank both Leo, Connie, Hank, the Holland India Festivals, an outstanding initiative. I'm very happy to know that the embassy in the past years has been supporting this initiative. I have been here for less than four months, but let me tell you, the full weight and backing of the Embassy of India and the Government of India will be with you. We are ready to give you whatever support we can to make your events a huge success. And congratulations to Maheshwari who has created this event and who has actually brought all of us together. Uh, let me say that if all of us work together, we can give the artists like these, including these artists, a much bigger platform, much bigger audience. We can mainstream Indian music and the people of Netherlands who are so close to the people of India and the people of India who are so close to the people of Netherlands. We deserve to come much, much more together in the field of music. Let us all work towards this goal. Thank you very much. <laughs> with this, I am with great pleasure. I declare the Holland India Festivals open. Ladies and gentlemen, please come and watch every one of the music performances which is going to happen in South Strand Theatre. Please come and watch every one of the dance performances which will happen in the Corso Theatre. I, for one, intend to watch as many as I can. Thank you. <laughs>